Hey, what a beautiful morning. Pick some herbs in the very beginning. Yes, started doing some herb runs, but I tell you what, they could be much better. So let's harvest all of the patches and maybe find one of them diseased. See this herb patch, this is in Alcarid. Yeah, this is where you mine silver in free to play, like the, the whole mine, there's three iron. These druids, yeah, this is where you can upgrade the plant power. I could only got a couple of them. This is where you can plant multiple seeds. That's why I want to do farm runs because I got 65 seeds. I can do four seeds. So use four seeds at a time. I'm going to super compost this as well and let's do all the patches i also started doing the wilderness so i can do teleport teleport to her patch directly to level 30 wilderness and how come all the patches are not diseased right now that's so weird yesterday was like the same patch you cured it the same patch got diseased again and what do i see here is some diseased herbs you see in the runescape tree they can never die that also includes like uh, three patches you just have to cure them but it's annoying because now i did not get to produce and now i have to inspect the herbs there's no harvest option as somebody who killed gorax for 400 hours in old school yes i have a video loot from 60,000 gorax where i collected 250 shield of halves uh, i wonder if it's the same in here like do you always access the the airdrop table these guys are like oh, bro, you one shot them 2.6k hp it does not actually seem to be the case because because i got offhand metal throwing axe i mean i see gonna coins here yeah, they definitely fix it here but not in old school basically you access the air drop table all the time on old school every single time one out of one chance so you get gems you get loop half of keys and shield of halves and dragon spears that's why it's such a good place so fairy tale part two is going to be completed and in this game you don't need to complete the elite i think it's elite and old school to use fairy rings without a draymond staff you actually need to complete the third part of fairy tale so not this one it's still this was a very important quest because for the very first time i could have used uh, the fairy rings general Gromblod. but i don't remember this quest i know that i'll have to fight these orcs eventually when they come out of this uh, rift yes on this guy i made a full video like 12 years ago this is like a portable safe spot that you can use any monster will be stuck behind it maybe they fix it but i think platypus still works well i don't think this fitting exists in old school how do you fix this anyway like use broken bridge just a plank and it will okay so apparently this is moss the harmless oh do i have to fix that too this is where you could get the black mask so close also teleport walk but i mean it's a black mask also like uh, you're using necromancy so there's no slayer helmet for necromancy i haven't even completed monkey madness quest it's so weird seeing myself in the monkey madness place i, mean, I think i can reach this monkey come here oh yes i'm attacking the monkey okay let's see the monkey is going to be attacking me can i get in the cage that would be not that would be just not not it's not gonna work is it no monkey madness baby come on knock me down get me inside no they thought of this they thought of this you also get a magic watering can you don't need to do tight farm you just get infinite and you can add this to the tool belt yes teleport me now i don't even know what she's gonna teleport me but it should be the end of the quest if it's yes it is the martin yes you've done this that's it completed fairy tale part three that was super quick holy i just started like one hour ago completed all like all the quests also unlike old school you can use a legend scape to teleport pretty much where the quest scape teleports so if you want an access to easy fairy ring that's how we can do that so i wanted to get that milk pet but apparently it's not possible at the moment because you need to bring four different kinds of teeth and one of them is suka teeth and that means you need access to lunar's isle which i don't have at the moment see there is this relic called farm ecology and you use archaeology for this and that's why i needed to complete fairy tale part three but this is not the only thing now i have to complete armadillion collection to receive the king oberon's moon shroom spore relic and then give to the fairy queen after completing the fairy tale part three basically at level 81 yes look at this i'm 80 by the way so i'm one level off at level 81 you can have this relic as long as you have all these requirements and your mushroom and her patches will never get diseased but you can only have like three relics active at a time so you kind of have to choose which one this guy he's looking for archaeology collection on medallion one is what i have to complete the reward is king oberon's moonshroom spores ah, there's way too many items okay so contribute these these are the ones that i found and i need these yes the plume and peacocking parasol yep these require 81 Good thing is I have some bonus XP, 44,000. So how about we get even more bonus experience? You know, it really is like World of Warcraft with a bonus arrested XP, as they call it. So I'm going to put all of it in archaeology for another 8.5 thousand. Yeah, it's like a weekly thing. You can fight this guy twice, Agaroth. I don't know if it's a save death. I'm always scared of this thing, but it only hits like 500. And after you kill him, you get this black pearl, which I know it's a ways, but come on, we got to do this archaeology. I don't like archaeology, and I think it's because... 
Yeah, it's a lot of XP, man. There's 147k to go. Then I get a second one. Put it on archaeology as well. All right, where is my dragon mattock? It's only tier 60, but apparently it works as like tier 70 stats. But now I can do tier 80. So technically, it's not the best thing to use. But I want to augment it. And then I can level it up. And at the same time, I can get invention up. And later, I can upgrade this to crystal. And then imkando mattock. So it's like needed. This is generally needed for upgrades. But for later, and that's it. You just spend the rest of the day in here excavating this cache again because archaeology is such a slow skill. However, I guess I am level 80 now. Maybe it's going to be a little bit quicker, but you see how slow this thing fills up. Slowly, slowly, slowly. The XP is slow also. We are back in like five hours. 81. Yes. Excavation tailored debris level requirement 81. And there's three items we can get. So after I get them, I think that's it. Oh my god, I fell asleep yesterday. Perfect. Slept for like nine hours a day. What is this ceremonial plume? Wait, do I actually have everything? Contribute all? Yes, I got this King Oberon's Moon Spores. I should bring the sport to the Fairy Queen. Give it. Yes, please. And she gives me Queen Maps Moonstone. Offering this to the monolith at the Archaeology Campus will unlock the Farm Ecology Relic Power. And there we go. Ancient Power unlocked. You now have access to Relic Power Farm Ecology. So it's actually not active. You have to drag it. So you, there's like a bunch of them. <laughs> do I have like two of them unlocked? What, you're just two? <laughs> and one of them is unlocked by default. So there's like Font of Life, which gives like maximum life points by 500 increase. Damn it, bro. Okay, I'm going to do the second one. Harness the power. So yes, you can do three at once. There's way too many. So later, when you unlock more, you have to choose. Like, it, just because I unlocked Pharmacology doesn't mean it's always now. Never becomes diseased. No, because if you take this relic off and you replace it with something else, then your herbs and mushroom patches will become diseased. And only recently I got this Green Fingers Aura, which increases the yield by 3%, or it has like 3% chance to double it. Uh, there's also Juju Potion, which for the longest time I thought I just couldn't make it because I thought the requirements were way too high. But apparently I do have farming level and the herb lord level to make them. And it has like 30% chance to double the herb. It is like single most needed item when harvesting herbs. And I, I don't have it. See, this I thought they were dead because they look so great. No, these are diseased. So they are diseased. Even if you put the thing in, it just from this moment, they will not become diseased. Holy cow, bro. 17 crystal triskelion keys. I hope they give cash. I need cash. 12k in the money pouch. Some seats. Oh, wait, actually, I have to bank. Need some more triskel. Oh, please tell me I can bank these. Yes, please. Bank is always full. You know what I mean? That's a lot of herbs. That's a lot of charms. What do you have like our glacier now? Days. I don't even know what's like the best reward would be. Probably those magic logs. Cash obviously is something I'm looking for right now, but it doesn't seem to be giving cash like at all. It's pretty much the same rewards over and over. It's almost like a crystal chance, but kind of worse in a way, except you probably get like so many elite. Wait, is that how I got the extra elite? Because you're supposed to have like 25 as a maximum. And then I thought, oh, maybe they changed it because I have like 30 something. Let me see. So that means I cannot get any more of these. It's just 47 in the bank. See, at 25, hard one stopped. At 25, most likely medium stop. I just don't know. Maybe like two of them were on the floor and I just picked up both of them. Ah, uh, what a nostalgic place. The Juju Potion place. I'm going to take this guy to buy some more the Juju vials. Don't want to buy too many because I have like 200k only. So I need to buy Oguna seed specifically. And maybe now I can just buy these. It was such a waste. Minus 40, 30,000. 5,000 juju vials you can just buy every single day. Wait, can I play multiple ones as well? Oh my god. So what do I do? I only have five. This is like a daily thing. There's probably like other places where you obtain them. Like what are they called? Jadinkos? You know where to get the whip wine? You attach it and it's like almost like a kraken tentacle. But it's like so outdated. I don't think anyone d does it. So I, there are two patches. So I have to choose now. I think I'm going to plant two seeds on this one. Plant another two seeds in this patch. So those are herbs that I planted. Now I need the second ingredient. Okay use the Marshall plant to hunt these things. Back then it used to be very difficult because you had to set up their habitat. So you had to build like a hole, some bushes, some tree, and only when you build them perfectly, these guys come because they are like, I guess, attracted to it. But now, you know, it's 2024. You can just plant these in like Anacronia without anything. Don't need to set up anything. Just the most regular hunter. Oh my God, that took so long. Did Wait, he looked and then he didn't look. Something's wrong. Yep, I need to do something. You need level 84 hunter because this is in Anachronia. So there is a downside. Like if I want to catch them, I could catch them right now in the Juju place. But if you want to catch them here without any other requirements, you need much higher level. Plus nine levels 
than the actual requirement. See, the problem is that I need an orange tree planted, so I, I can't even do this right now. Unless, maybe, I can get something from these birdness, but I don't even know, like, these high levels. I think these are low levels. So, you see pineapple? I think it's possible to get BC. It's called bird nest, but there is also bird nest. No, not this one. Yeah, bird's nest plus. What the hell is that all about? What is it gonna give me? The same seed, what? Search. You can do search all also. Okay, palm tree. Where's that? Orange tree seed. No way, got it. See, there's a bunch of cheap seeds. They only cost 50 GP instead of 10k. So these are not herbs. These are just something that you also need to plant along with the orange tree. However, there's one tree that this guy just does not sell. I actually have to play the minigame. The legberry seed is not being sold at all. As far as I remember, it's extremely common seed, but we have to go inside the Jedinko layer somewhere down here oh my god these things so i remember you would chop these things and you burn them but they have like an extremely high requirement i'm gonna try to chop them i'm i am 84 wood cutting and i can do it but i'm not sure if i have fire making collect the jade root cut you get these curly roots that you can pound it add root dry patch let's do it on this one you need a fire make level of 83 to burn them there's other way to get it by killing these guys and i am a very high level slayer 92 i think i can kill the maximum once mutated jadinko male 96 these are level 100 so these have to be the ones yes i can damage them just gonna be a little bit careful just in case they hit something or oh jesus christ i kill like five of them just like that mutated vines oh my god that's how you make the bolas guys remember old school it failed because bolas was supposed to be like a freeze weapon you throw it and it's like wraps around its legs and you get stunned that's like the whole point so you take this and maybe you combine with like this <gasps> yes sage and bolas yes accuracy wait this is tier 76 what the hell it's a ranged thrown weapon tier 76 and tier 72 is like offhand and main hand I, i'm going to assume you need 87 fletching so i can't even make bolas no okay let's continue just kill a little bit more of these you get favor points and i think you can exchange them for some nice juicy seeds eventually there is this reward i'm gonna withdraw all it's based on your favor points so fruits only pricier the seeds and teleport bags priciest and that's what i need actually but maybe if you get a random mix it's like cheaper but you get also fruit so it's actually better i'm gonna go with seeds and bags and it, bro that gave nothing and my favorite points is down to zero i got a janger berry seed does it even say anything we manantal seeds there's some fell stalk red blossom green blossom yeah this is how you get the points you can do curler roots for two points per root and then chopping two points lighting the fire pit three and then based on your slayer level 80 86 or 91 which i can do i get 10 points per killing mutated jedinko male oh my god i got it what is it oh no don't tell me it disappeared because i afk for too long yes yes yes, it's right here the whip find 97,000 using a bissel whip for added oomph and i have a bissel whip we're gonna add this good 2000 favorite points it becomes red once you collect them withdraw all the rewards and hopefully i'm going to see let's withdraw where the hell is the seeds bro i'm just gonna go and boost my hunter level up or something 20 minutes later and another 2000 points this is gonna be the last time i do this bro where this is a, what the hell is this? This is the garbage. I found the easiest workaround to this is just you boost your hunter level to 84 and then you plant five plants because now you're suddenly above 80, so it allows you to do that. And then you log off once you captured or if the traps were destroyed because you got one minute to do this and i already caught 25 marble wines and my hunter dropped one time by one level by accident so i guess the best way to do this would be harvest one singular herb clean it put it in the potion make it into the juju farming and now harvest this one because it's also doubles sometimes i want to see it one two okay any moment wait that's a double I, I i assume how come it's one in three chance how come it's just a single head oh Finally, two finished. All of these beautiful potions, 32,000 each in the Grand Exchange also. I don't have bank space though, it's 920. This is where the pay to win is gonna come in. I think it's a bond shop, yeah? Yeah, bank bundle. See, unlocks an additional 50 slots in the bank and three bank presets, two bonds. Okay, large bank booster, seven bonds. The bonds are going for like 90 mil each, nine zero. There's like 600 mil that people have to spend. Yep, General Solomon store. What can you buy in here? Yep, all these dice. Yep, yep, yep. Members, you see a purchase, but I get these for free. I get like as a member, like four of them you get for free, but the rest of them you have to buy plus 50, plus 50, plus 50. You see how many you can buy? 50 more spaces. That's not all. That's the second page, all of them 
plus 50. Yes, I could just buy these out. I don't think it even counts that 250 that we just saw. That's like a completely different thing. You need to use bonds. In here, you use rune coins. And this is also with a discount because in January, like everything or most of the things are on discount. You can buy them cheaply it is that expensive 420 coins is 11 euro this would buy me two bank boosters it's pretty much five euro per bank booster unless maybe you buy like the maximum package 5200 coins is save 25 percent but then it's 105 euro god damn it but my bank is so full as an item and you really want to have like a bunch of stuff now do i clean the bank maybe instead and save the money my bank was full for the longest time i couldn't only free up 42 spaces which is pretty much unseen for me look how clean this looks now not too clean there's still like a bunch of items that i need to do so i made these right like this green dragon height including chaps because that's what you make then there's blue there's red there is black but there's also a royal which i do not have but i actually do have when you're doing elite dungeons most of the stuff goes inside the chest when i search it it shows 25 mil I don't think most of these are Alks though, because these are like very tiny, like 5k, I think they go to like 25k. So I guess when you have only 157k in the money pouch, just Alk them, I guess. And there's the Royal Dragonhide, yep. If I click bank, oh my god, my bank is going to get filled once again, but at least this is now empty completely. So we're going to craft one chaps, going to put the Royal in here, the chaps go below this as well. Oh, this looks so nice now. This looks much better than it did before. Now you see these stone spirits here, the coal and the runite and oracleite. Look, it just goes inside. Not only can you store ores in here, but also the stone spirits. But I just don't know how you would do this normally, because you get them from so many bosses. It's not like you get like, let's say I'm killing Nex and I get 20 Phasmatite Stone Spirits. I'm not going to pull out this ore box, fill it in, and then, oh, yeah, it's now inside my box. No, you're just going to load a new preset, and once you do that, you're going to bank all these Stone Spirits inside your bank. So it feels like, I, I couldn't remove these, yes, sure, but then they will fill up again when you're bossing. Found even more, Dinosaur Hide, this is the expensive one, 260, what the hell? Wait, the normal one was like 350k, now if you tan it, it's like 100k cheaper. It probably just hasn't caught up with the Grand Exchange prices, I'm going to assume. No, it's high level requirements, aren't they? 93 crafting to cha to make the chaps. As I'm cleaning the bank, I found this fishing bait, but I believe if I would make a skilling outfit, the full shark piece, I got all 15 pieces. It says chance to save bait. Living rock cabin creatures are not aggressive. Wait, I thought... I, uh, do I remember this incorrectly? Because I wanted to drop this bait, but then I first tried to disassemble it, but it says, you monster, you cannot disassemble a living thing. Okay, time to grind them then. Dun -dun 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 -dun. 